Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another video in my DIY analog synthesizer tutorials. Now in this video it's gonna, well this subject I'm going to try and cover how to build your own Steiner Parker clone filter. Now I'm gonna have to kind of do this in parts as there's quite a few bits to go through and I think it might be better to break it down into small parts in case I miss bits which kind of might be important and uh, yeah and hopefully you guys will have a go at this and can ask some questions and leave yeah leave them in the comments so if we have a look over here we have four different schematics now if we look at this one here we can see this is the diode ladder. So what it is, it's a diode ladder filter. It kind of works similar to a transistor ladder filter. But this one is a 12 decibel per octave. Um, it's a multi-mode, not state variable filter. So I'm sure Yves Usson, who uh, created these two in particular, well actually these three schematics, will tell you so as well. And what we have here, this particular one here, is actually from the um, Mini Brute and Micro Brute by Arturia, as we can see here. And again, if we just have a scan over the topology, we can see there's a very, very, very similar. Also, what I did have, and which I can't find now, is the actual original Steiner Niall Steiner design which is here and if we look at this one this is from I don't know I think this, this one's from years this is donkeys years ago this one and we can see how simple this filter is here so we have is six diodes in the ladder and we have these two uh, this, tra this current mirror these two transistors here and this is our input stages for our control voltages so again, this is a voltage controlled filter, which we are building. And we will have a control voltage input and we will have three different inputs for the different modes. It's a kind of bit opposite to how the, um, how the SEM style filter works. So this, the SEM style filter that I built has one input but you can select for free output so it kind of works opposite with that. Now again what you're going to need some quite basic non-hard find materials. Here we have two transistors so we have two NPN don't forget that's NN negative positive negative um, transistors so we can say something like the quite common 2N 3904s or we could use the BC 547s or 2N5088 stroke 5089 any pretty much general purpose NPN um, transistors will do or you could use the two transistors from the CA3046 so if we look at the CA Six, we have that's our transistor array IC one two three four five six seven fourteen pin dip dual in line pin and we'll have a transistor here and another transistor didn't draw that too too good to be honest with you so yeah anyway you kind of get the idea so we've got one transistor over here and we're only concerned with the first two which run from pins one, two, three, four, and five. And the good thing about it is the two, the two emitters, I've just linked the bases there, should be the emitters. The two emitters from those transistors are linked. So we don't, if we look at these here, we can see on this uh, schematic here, the two emitters are linked. And if we look here again, we've got these are BC, can't quite focus on that, but these are all because this is for the, from the micro brute, mini brute. These are all surface mount components. So if you go, I'll go online and just search for say you say you want to search for usynth y u s i n t h dot net, and you can find some um, lots of different schematics there for 
for uh, different modules and you will find you will come across these um, voltage control filter um, schematics so yeah so we're going to need one op amp for our output stage which is here and maybe a trimmer for our trimming our voltage uh, one volt per octave for our keyboard tracking stroke scaling apparently this is not the best scaling it does it, it kind of only does a few octaves and it goes a bit willy-nilly but it, it's good uh, possibly you might need a switch and I'll explain what this is for a very small minor detail to do with how I how I use it to switch um, between or to, to combine the low pass and the high pass output to give you the um, notch mode. Uh, we're going to need some capacitors. Again, this is going to be something which you should give a go and not go by exactly what I say. Try different capacitors here in the ladder because what we have here, if you look here, we have a diode ladder there with these capacitors. A bit sort of remnant, sort of like. Um, reminiscent of the Moog 24db ladder filter so if we look in there and these capacitors that you use in this diode ladder do make a big difference in the tone you get so experiment and see what works out best for you I even tried these ones these are old them um, I can't remember what they're called they're called people call them tropical fish the old tropical fish you don't really you won't find these anymore these are kind of old late probably early 80s 70s style um, I think people actually still use them for for like guitar pedals and things like that so it might be worth hunting some down and trying them out if you can get um, close enough values to match so you want to kind of go for something value of anything between say um, 1.8 nanofarads to about um, about about three nanofarads but that might be a bit high so there we have it as we can see this is our audio in we can we don't necessarily have to I, on my one I didn't put this in here I didn't put this uh, this this stage of the um, op amp in here so I've just basically just used a dual op amp as we can see, just basically use one part of it. Um, you're going to need a couple of potentiometers. One's going to be for your resonance, and one's going to be for your frequency cutoff, and some resistors as specified in the schematic that you use, and some diodes. As we can hear, these are signal, ordinary signal diodes, 1N4148 diodes. And it's best if you have a electric meter is to um, test them and try and match them so you get a nice matched and it's kind of dependent on what your input voltage is I think I think what was recommended from what I kind of researched was if you have say plus and tw um, plus 12 and minus 12 volts then you could use I think up to about 10 it was recommended about 10 diodes in that ladder if you have plus 15 minus 15 you could use up to 12 I've got a funny feeling it might be 12 in the ladder or it might be 8 in the 12 volts and to, um, 10 in the plus 15 minus 15 so I'm getting a bit muddled up there so yeah again this is another thing you want to experiment with this is the output stage of um, output capacitor of the filter what I found was using this um, specific value wasn't letting all my signal through I was losing quite a lot of bottom end from it so I've actually gone up to a uh, a one one microfarad one UF for this C12 here as we can see again it, it would be this that camera focus it will be that um, that capacitor there that goes out to the op amp or the output stage and obviously you're going to need some if you're breadboarding this you're going to need some some kind of wire again go for some cat5 nice and cheap 
cut it down, cut it to whatever size you want. Forget all that, that pre-made jumper nonsense. It's, I think it's a bit of a rip off to tell you the truth. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. Right, so yeah, so as you can see, our topology on this one, we have two transistors, one's an NPN with its emitter pointing away and one's a PNP with its emitter pointing in. Um, I haven't tried this one to be honest with you. The one that I actually used was very, very similar to this one, which is used in the Mini Strike Stroke Micro Brutes design and a kind of combination of this particular schematic here and this schematic. Right, anyway guys, I will be back for another part in this video, just want to give you kind of a, a sort of general introduction to this subject, and yeah, I'll catch you soon. Please leave um, comments or questions, and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys soon. Nice one.